Hello, 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 and welcome to another video brought to you by the Machamp King. And I'm here to show you this new Radiant Eternatus video. So we are on, what, episode 17, I believe, with Grim Snarl VMAX. So it has its G-Max drill attack, so it does 50 more damage for every extra darkness energy, and it can't add more than 100 damage that way. So a max of 270 for 5, which is incredibly expensive. Um, no wonder Grim Snarl VMAX did not see play. This is, this is insane. Uh, but we're going to try it out, and furthermore, we are going to try it out in standard format. So what we are doing today is we have a Crobat, three Galarian Moltres Vs, a Galarian Zigzagoon. Uh, you know what? Let's make that two. Two and two. Let's do two and two. We don't need two. We don't need three Galarian Moltres Vs. So we have a Crobat. Two Galarian Moltres, two Galarian Zigzagoons, a 2-2 two -two Coughing and Wheezing line with its neutralizing gas. Uh, and then we have three Grim Snarl Vs, or I'm sorry, three Grim Snarl V Maxes, Radiant Eternatus, four Dark Patch, four Energy Switch to get those energies from the Galarian Moltres V to the Grim Snarl V Max, uh, four Great Balls, three Scoop Up Nets. To do extra ping damage with Galarian Moltres or with a Galarian Zigzagoon, because unfortunately this only hits 270, and sometimes we need that 280 mark. Um, probably a lot of the time we will need that. We also have three Ultra Ball, a Boss, uh, two Marnie, three Research, a Raihan, a Rose. Look at this. So attach up to two basic energies from your discard pile 20 or Remax, and then you have to discard your hand. Um, so sometimes in a pinch that might work wonders um, to get that extra powerful damage onto the Grim Snarl Max. We have two Serenas to get some discard, uh, some darkness energies in the discard, or um, to, you know, boss up a, a VMAX or a V Pokemon, two Choice Belts, an EXP share, four Hiding Dark, and 12 Basic Darkness. So that is what we are working with today, and uh, let's get some... Good matches and some wins for us here in the uh, standard format. So we are looking at Yum Pocket or Yum Pocket for our opponent today. And hopefully you like our little setup here. It is a new setup. Um, we have uh, Pokemon up there, the uh, Indigo League, and then my uh, Pikachu over there as well. So there we are. Hopefully we can do some good matches for us. It looks like we are playing some sort of a metal deck. This is quite unfortunate because we have no way of getting anything in the discard and also no way of getting the uh, Radiant Grim or the Grim Snarl V Maxes out. So I wonder how many mulligans they are going to play. That's fine though. Let's see how many mulligans they'll have. Mulligans they're going to play. What, what am I saying? Yeah, how many mulligans are they going to have for us to draw extra cards? Let's see. Four. Nice. Also, not a lot. But we have a couple of ways to get energy into the discard and also to accelerate it. So we're looking pretty fine, we're looking fine. Um, Grim Snarl, in order to KO a Zacian, we are going to need four energy onto the Grim Snarl, um, which is fine. This Ultra Ball can get us the Radiant E-Turn, and hopefully we have both other Grim Snarl. Um, in the deck, or else we might have to Marnie. With a choice belt, we're doing 200, and a Zig Galarian Zigping, we could only need three with a choice belt and a scoop up net. Nice, so they pass. Um, so let's do 
Ultra Ball. Getting these both into the discard. What do we got here? So we do have both other Grimmsnarl, which is fantastic. Um, let's ping it. I will try that first. And Radiant Etern for both of those Grimmsnarls. All right, so we will Choice Belt, Dark Patch, and potentially Accelerate. Oh, and so they aren't doing nothing. That is fantastic. Yikes. Okay, so let's Dire Flame, actually, and Energy Switch. Dark Patch. So we can attach... And we could find the other Galarian Zigzagoon. Okay. That's that's fine. We can quick ball a darkness energy away for another Galarian Zigzagoon, and if it's uh, if it is prized, then we'll just hand attach another energy. So we're more than fine still. Actually, why even search for the Zigzagoon? Let's just KO them. There's no problem with that. Hey, and we get our first win with Grimmsnarl VMAX. It was pretty easy to accelerate a whole bunch of energy. Alright, let's see. So we lost the coin flip. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Um... And my opponent goes first, which is fine. Hey. Oh, these are not the draw supporters we want. Rose and Raihan. We don't even have an energy. Yikes. Origin form Dialga V. Well. I mean, if I draw an energy, I'm I'm gonna ascension. Because I don't want them to get Magnemite in play. Come on, please, please, please give me an energy top deck. Yikes. Well. Let's get the other coughing down. And Marnie. Maybe we can slow him down while we get the Radiant E-turn in play. Hopefully that'll be the goal for this game. Um, yeah, hopefully that'll be the goal. So, no abilities, and Metal Coating is doing 80 damage. Ugh, 120 damage now, jeez. But we survive, we survive. Let's put that DXP share on there. Still nothing. Wow. Okay, Galarian. Shoot. Well, let's E switch. E switch. Yikes. Okay. Uh, basic energy. Severe poison. Alrighty. So no way to get the Grim Snarl in play yet, but that's fine, that's fine. We got time. No abilities yet, so 
Nothing going on there. Marnie, that's great. Cool, cool. Still nothing. No great ball, ultra ball, nothing. All right. But they're in poison. We'll we'll get the wheezing going. Nothing really to do. So this is the perfect turn to Radiant E-Turn. I'll tell you that. So let's Marnie. Ah, and we still got nothing? You've got to be kidding me. Jeez. Alright, let's let's hand attach. There's nothing really else to do. Shoot. Hey, I mean this this Grimmsnarl deck is is gonna win without Grimmsnarl. <laughs> Hopefully. Um so no energies yet. They still can't play Magnazone. What are they gonna grab? A second Dialga? Yep, okay. Second Dialga. Metal Blast. Alright, so they go down to four, and the Poison will get them to 160, definitely within range of getting KO'd. So let's Dire Flames. Uh, let's Goon Ping this damage, why not? And Aura Burn. Alright, there's something. Two Quick Balls, geez, okay. How much... How many energies... Is the mag none? Oh, you're you're down bad. Scoop, scoop. <laughs> well, we didn't get Grimmsnarl out, but uh, hey, that's why we play a whole bunch of other attackers. <laughs> no energy. I was not foreseeing that. Okay. All right, a new game here with Cyan, Cyanjin, Angelo. Hopefully, I, I'm butchering that. I know that. Butchering that. All right. Uh, well, we have Galarian Moltres. Um, we have Ultra Ball, Boskova. Okay, so we do have plenty of things to get the Radiant Grim... Or, the Radiant Grimmsnarl. The Grimmsnarl VMAX in play this turn. Um, with the Radiant Eternatus. So, ooh, very nice, very nice. So, let's Ultra Ball away these two. For Radiant Eternatus. Um, we will Dire Flames for one. And Radiant Etern for two. All right. Honestly, the way to go here probably is just using Galarian Weezing, honestly, because no way they are going to be hand attaching enough energy for all that snap for all that jazz. So we might as well get that in play. Whoa! Lugia! Since when does somebody play Lugia in a Lunatone and Soul Rock deck? Whoa! <laughs> Since when? Jeez. Okay, okay, okay. Dire Flames. Scoop up the Radiant E turn. For future fodder and to save bench space. Ka 
coughing. Dark patch. And aura burn. Seems like a good turn. Um, let's see. So they could hand attach and probably accelerate one more energy at least. Um, so that's 5 plus 6, that's 180. So they do need 6, not 5. They need 6 energies to, to get Moltres in play. So they have one in their discard. Uh-oh, Crushing Hammer. Don't do the one on the Grim Snarl. Okay, whew. All right, they need one more. Shucks. All right, so they got the KO. They got the KO on the um, on the Moltres V. So that stinks. That's fine, though. So we'll Raihan get the Galarian Weezing. Hand attached to that one. And G Max Drill. So they're doing Lugia. Why are they doing Lugia? Gust, Energy Loop. It's not a free retreater. Why would you play Lu? I'm just so baffled. Why would you play Lugia in this deck? So, I mean, sure, you can burn the switch. You don't have to... It's not one of your benched Lunatone. It's just one of your Lunatone. Sheesh. Another Lunatone? Alright, alright. One fifty. I mean, they're not they're they're not out of the woods. Like they would need Yeah, let's get another V going. Dire Flame Wings. Research. Dark Patch. Because they would need a Lunatone with five energy. to take the KO. So I'll just G-Max G Drill again. Um, and then honestly, if they don't take the KO, I'm retreating into my fully healed Grim Snarl. So. Okay, why would you do that? One twenty, one fifty. it's... 150 still not doing it. That's... I'm not sure what they're doing, guys. Okay, so they copycat for a new hand. So, they would need 5 energy. Uh-oh. Or 4 energy and a choice belt. Azelf, what the heck? <laughs> What's this Lugia and this Azelf doing? <laughs> Jeez Louise. Okay, okay. Um, well, let's retreat. And Hiding Darkness. Dire Flame Wings. Uh, let's actually put one of these on the Crobat, because 70 with Poison, that's 80, and I can... Um, goon ping them for a 90 damage, so there's ways to, to 
to beat this Lunatol Solrock deck. Uh, I have no idea why they're playing Lugia and Azelf. Like, it, it's just, it's baffling to me. Why would you do that? Also, if they're going to just confuse me, then... Okay. Oh, I mean, I guess you could retreat. Boss's orders for that one. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, guys. Goonping. Hand attach. Rose. So Rose did come in handy. Dire Flame Wings. And G-Max Drill. Alright, so there's no way for them to take four prizes, and I am all set up with this research. I don't know what my opponent was doing. But you can one-hit KO my Grimmsnarl, like... That's fine. Go ahead and do it. But uh, but my um, Galarian Moltres V is going to swing hard. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's okay. My Microbat can still... I mean, wh what do I want? What do I want to do? Galarian Moltres V or Crobat? All right, let's go layer in Moltres. All right, there we go. So we just top deck it. Energy switch. And we win the game with Aura Burn. Ugh. Say goodbye to Lunatone Solrock. It's kind of a weird build, but see you late. All right, we have a game going against Kogusa. All right, Kogusa. What do you have in store for us today? Well, it looks like we're starting off with uh, Galarian Zig and Radiant Etern getting benched. Nothing else really going on here. Uh-oh. Is this? This looks like Blissey. Is it Blissey? Ooh, it's Mill Tank. Uh, that's not good. So we have to go. We have to do Galarian Weezing. Oh, well, we can't even do Galarian Weezing. So, uh, okay. So let's demolish these two energy for coughing. And since we have one in hand and a scoop up net, that's all I'm doing. I just realized we actually don't play any stadiums in this deck, so we are never using um, we are never using uh, Radiant Eternatus, and we cannot get the Grim Snarls out. Oh well, they bumped their own stadium. <laughs> They realize they're like crap. I need, I need abilities. <laughs> Is it a Blissey deck though? I I still think I want to say it's a Blissey deck. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's for sure a Blissey deck. Okay, so ten. So it's doing fifty plus twenty is seventy because of my bench Pokemon. So it is. Oh, I thought it was knocking out my Galarian. All right, never mind. So let's scoop up the Zig. Dire Flame Wings, and Severe Poison. So no abilities, none whatsoever. So, it is going to get KO'd going back. Oh, they retreat. How dare they? That's all right. Yeah, use Cape of Toughness. That's fine. That's fine. 
So it's 300 damage. That's okay. They're going to get poisoned. Um, I know... I know that they can heal from special conditions by attaching energy, which is fine. I just need to get them down a peg is really all I need. So Dire Flame Wings, let's, let's pop them. Um, honestly, uh, I, I can save the choice belt, that's fine. Let's Neutralizing Poison. Actually, their Pokemon have no abilities, so if they attach an energy, they are not going to heal. Which is hilarious. I thought they were. So, that actually might be enough. We'll have to do the math on that. But that would be hilarious. And they didn't heal. Yep. <laughs> okay. 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 So, do they retreat? They Avery. Blissful Blast. That's fine. So, they are going to 90. So, they have 210 left. Yep, so I actually do have to use the Choice Belt. Or a Burn. No, I didn't. I didn't. Because I, I would have gotten just enough. Just enough. For perfect math. Without the Choice Belt. That's fine. Well, hey, I can either boss, if I draw the boss, that's cool, or I can Radiant E-Turn. Wait, they're switch carding me. Oh, okay, so they're gonna... They're gonna swing. Okay, okay. I would imagine they're gonna hit for one... Well, they only have to hit for 140. Pfft, yikes. Honestly, let's retreat and do Radiant E-Turn. Because I want to set up more attackers. I hope that they don't have boss, but they might. I really, really hope that they don't have boss. Because I want to swing into them. I want to swing into the Blissey. No! Fudge! Fudge them! <laughs> Shoot. Well, let's see. So they're doing 10, 40. Well, let's just see. Oh, they didn't get me. <gasps> it's because I didn't. Oh, sweet. It's because I didn't attack. Shucks, man. Okay. Uh, well, let's attach and Marnie. And let's aura burn them. 200 damage. And I know we knock ourselves out, but that's fine. Uh, we shall give them a radiant eternity. Please, no boss. No boss, don't do it. <laughs> Man, they are just pumped full of energy right now. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 energy. So 9 times it is 270. These cancel each other out, so they're doing 280. Shoot, and they just healed themselves. 120. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. Oh. This is not good, guys. And a third powerful energy. What are they doing? 270? Oh, they are totally one-shotting my VMAX here. 
And I need, so no V-Guard energy. I need to hit for... Okay. I need to hit for 220, which is 4 energy. So I can hand attach... Okay, so I can hand attach Dark Patch E-Switch. That's only 3. Oh jeez. Okay. I, I have to I have to promote the Galarian Zig. I can't do it. Okay. Um so let's do that. Let's do that. Oh I could have. Oh no. I could have. I I didn't know I was going to shoot guys. I didn't know I was going to top deck the Galarian Moltres. Oh, I top decked literally the card I needed. Because I hand I could hand attach Dark Patch. No, I'm sorry. Because the East switch would have had to go from I dark I was able to Dark Patch directly instead of Dark Patch E switch. So, no, no, no. I I knew that. I knew that. Okay. Okay, 30 energy is not a big deal. Don't boss me. Okay, I still one-shot them. That's fine. Because they only healed... I still need to do 250, which I can do. So, hand attach, E-switch, and I'm doing 270. G-max drill. Boom! For exactly enough. Uh, which is scary because now I need my other Galarian, um, wheezing because of the mill tanks. So are, we still have, we still have, uh, our work cut out, cut out for us. Yes, we do. Quick ball. Is this another Blissey? Yeah. Um, well, hey, if we... Okay, we can potentially... Marnie, fantastic. Can you Marnie me into a boss or a Serena? That would be hilarious. Oh, okay, okay. So nothing there. Um, so let's do that for Crobat. I almost whiffed that. Um, Crobat. Crobat into Boss or Serena. Sweet. Boss up and G-Max Drill. So I know we're not, we're 50 away. Or, or literally, if they didn't attach that cape of toughness. Do they have a switch? They shouldn't have benched the Blissey, 100%. Sharon's care! No, dude, Sharon's care? <laughs> Frick. Oh, heaven knows you didn't just Sharon's care me. Oh. Shoot. Okay, 70 damage. Uh, okay. Um, okay, let's see. So zig, ping, scoop up, ping, research. Let's get me... Coughing. Oh, so Zigzagoon could do thirty. Um, I 
That was my only boss. And my coughing, my wheezing is the only thing that can technically KO a mill tank, but I still need to take two KOs. Ugh. Mm. Okay, I'm done. Shoot. Okay. But I just benched two more Pokemon for them. Path to the Peak. Okay, Path to the Peak really doesn't do much. Ugh, and they boss. They're going to boss the other Grimmsnarl? No! They win. Ah, shoot. That's too bad. I thought they were going to boss the other Grimmsnarl. Ah, uh, good game, good game. All right, going against Altastar89. Our turn. So we do start with coughing, which is great. Uh, we can Ultra Ball for the evolution of it. And we wouldn't have to use our attack for turn. So that's pretty good. Um, so... Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's uh, attach and pass. So no Jinx, uh, Wobbuffet, uh, Hop. Okay. Draw your three cards. What do you do? Capturing Aroma. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Delphox V. Okay, interesting. So, this is a very interesting deck. And I don't mind that. I, I love playing different... Like, I'm playing a deck that you don't really see too often. Radiant Eternatus. Um... Radiant Eternatus, and Grim Snarl VMAX. And so this and Delphox, like, awesome. Seems awesome to me. So let's get them poisoned, and then we will quick ball for the uh, Radiant E-turn, and then we don't have to worry about poisoning them. So, sounds like a good turn three for me. Barry, okay, so draw three more cards, dude. Let's go. Charmander. Do you bother attacking me for ten, or do you just let it go? I mean, you could also retreat. Retreating would be annoying, because then I would feel like I would have to poison before I can do Radiant E-Turn, or else I'm just like, wasting a turn. So, we'll see. What do, you, what do you do? So with Delphox V, I could ping him for 10, and then I would need 3 energy and a choice belt, or just 4 energy. Do you retreat? Oh, come on. Come on. Whatever. That's okay. I'll just... They're just delaying the inevitable. You're going to get poisoned. Severe poison. Still no abilities, which is fine. So I doubt that they're going to be able to retreat this turn. If you confuse me, whatever, you're already into poison. That's that's what I want. Um, and then I can get my Radiant E-turn. Charmeleon. What I don't want them to do is Magical Fire 
Oh, don't you dare get a Crobat. Oh, okay, so you got Charizard. That's fine. You, you, you have no abilities, though, so. I do have to be careful of that Leon. Alright, can I at least heal from burn, please? Nope. That's alright. So, let's get that out of the way. And let's do some Radiant Eternatus shenanigans. For two Grim Snarl VMAXs. Honestly, I would love to ping them because it would go. Well, I guess. In three turns from now, they would be getting KO'd. So their turn, my turn, their turn, they would be getting KO'd from poison. Charizard can't do its ability, which is hilarious. Yeah, I'm having fun. Altastar 89, let's go, pass it over back to me. I mean, I guess you could, no, I mean, it doesn't do any damage, and I'm already burned, so, like, your attack does nothing. Yep, I mean, that's fine. Can I at least heal, please? Okay, awesome. Still 70 damage away. Let's Dark Patch. There we go. And honestly, no, I don't need that. I'm fine. I was going to E-switch, but like, why? Because, like, they're not KOing me. Like, there's really nothing going on. Wait, why would you attack? Oh, are you going to retreat? Don't retreat. Don't retreat. Just take the KO. Take the KO like a man, Alta Star. Don't retreat. You have nothing going for Oh, come on. You have nothing going for you. All right, all right. Uh, okay, so hiding dark... Let's get that going. Let's free retreat. And now, oh, but I take no, uh, I take no prize cards with Grim Snarl. That, meh. but really, what what are they gonna do with with no energy on the Charizard? And they can't, and they can use their ability one turn because I'm just gonna retreat and poison them. So, what are you gonna do? And as soon as I get a Galarian Zigzagoon, I'm going to ping him, so. Get that Delphox KO. So they have one, still just one Leon in the discard. EXP share. What is this? Alright, let's severe poison them. No more, no more ability shenanigans. All right, attach and pass, attach and pass, attach and pass. That's all I need. I like, hey, this is a Grim Snarl deck, but it's also, like, I needed a way to, like, slow down my opponent while I build up all these energy on the Grim Snarl. So, Galerian Weezing, perfect match. So, pass it over to me. I pass it over to you. Your Charizard dies. I'm, uh, excar ex excuse me. It doesn't die. Pokemon get knocked out. Like they're not they're not just killing each other out there. Alright, so there we go. Serena. So I could take the KO. But I don't wanna do that. I just wanna I just wanna ping it. Because it only needs one. I just wanna ping it. Okay, here's what we do. We Serena discard all the energy. And hopefully we get an out to the Galarian Weezing. We retreat, and since that was weak to darkness, that's what we get. So, I imagine we won. Scoop! Oh, <laughs> uh, we get that. We get that.
All right, guys. Who is the next opponent? Hai Ching 666. What? What is this? Hai Ching. I don't like that number, Hai Ching. <laughs> no, okay, let's go. Sweet. Um, that is fine. I think I want a quick ball away for the Galarian Weezing. And hand attach to it. Before doing the Radiant E-Turn. I go first, right? Yep, yep, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, so let's quick ball away that. Get coughing. Wait, let, let me see. Okay. Get coughing. And attach. And yes, I would like to search my deck. For the two Grim Snarl V Maxes. All right. What do you got, Radiant Greninja? Is this Lost Box? Is this. Oh, called it. Lost Box. Potentially. I mean, with Colorus. Colorus's experiment could be with a number of decks. But uh, I'm calling Lost Box. That's what I'm shooting for. Yep, Lost Box. So I want that. I want to get that uh, Galarian Wheezing in the active. I want it. So I can Dark Patch to a Grim Snarl and then Serena. Hopefully I can get something to get the Zigzagoon out of the way. And hopefully I don't even have to use extent Extension. I want to use... Um, I want to poison, so that, that's what would be my best option. That's what I want. I want energy, glaring wheezing. Okay. Okay. So there's an energy, so I can just retreat. Serena... Come on, give me the Galarian Weezing. Give it to me now. Okay, fair enough. Yep, fair enough. That's fine. Ascension. Fine, fine. So you have four in the lost zone. I wasn't able to poison you, but that's fine. Hopefully you don't have a colorless. Ah! <laughs> Scoop! Well, that was a quick one. Got Aaron Weezing putting in work. Hey, this isn't even... A, uh, this isn't even a Galarian Weezing deck. This is a Grim Snarl V Max deck. <laughs> Alright. Our game today is against Endog Pokechamp. Let's go, Endog. What do you got? Let's go first. I want to go first. Okay. So, Galarian Moltres V will have to be enough. Interesting. We are playing Mew, I believe. Aren't we? I think we are. No, we are playing another uh, Lunatone Soul Rock deck. Okay. Battle VIP and Hisuian Heavy Ball. And they hit an energy. Wow. Mm, yikes. Yikes. All right. This one seems like a heck of a lot better of a deck. Yikes. 
All right, trucking shoes. And they keep it. I bet you anything they got that other truck and shoes. Oh, and they keep it. Why? What are you doing? Poke gear. Uh-oh. Professor's research. Uh-oh. Are you going to use it? Are you going to use it? Here's the thing. I need to set up a Galarian wheezing, but on um, I need to I need to evolve a Galarian wheezing on a turn where I KO a Lunatone, so that way they have zero energy coming, and then I can just keep poisoning them. Yeah, I don't know if that's ever gonna happen because I only it only does forty damage. So yikes man. How much is this doing? Two sixty? One sixty? One eighty? One eighty? Jeez. I mean I can attack without being KO'd, but like why? Alright, so I got Dark Patch. I can Dire Flame Wings. I can um, Moltre, or I can Marnie. Get Coughing. And Aura Burn. So I do survive by 10. But it's not looking good for me, guys. I can Ultra Ball away the Energy Switch and whatever else I top deck for the Galarian Weezing, get Hiding Dark, attach Hiding Dark and Research, but, like, it's not doing anything. Because, like, they'll be able to one-shot my Galarian Weezing. And, like, poison won't do anything. That's why I'm like, ugh, what do I do? Scoop up on my Radiant Greninja? Yeah. I mean, this is their third Lunatone, though. I, and I bet you anything they play Rescue Stretcher. They're probably trying to dig for that. I just don't see me coming out ahead, guys. I really don't. Three, four, like they're one shot. They're they're one shotting me, guys. Because it's 120. They just need to hand attach one more energy. To. Ah, yikes. All right. So there's the wheezing. There's the hiding dark. There's the research. There's the zig. And I mean, I guess severe poison. So they're getting knocked out coming back into my turn, but if they have one more energy, then they just one hit KO me. And with a hand of eight, like, how do they not have an energy? You know what I mean? And they're still digging for more energy. They have to have the energy. There's no way they don't have the energy. They only grab one Lunatone? Why would they only grab one Lunatone? I mean, that's fine. You got nine, ten cards in hand? Nine cards? You gotta have the energy. There's no way. There you go. Yep, they have the energy. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Oh, 
Okay. The only thing... Okay, this is my chance. The only thing I can do is I have a scoop up net for the zig. I have a hiding dark. The only thing I can do is grab... Oh, I need a ball search card without discarding coughing or wheezing. Whoa! Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. There we go. Okay, both are in deck, right? Okay. Cough. Okay, we're still in this, guys. We are still in this. Okay, we are still in this, guys. Ascension. So, they legit cannot accelerate energy. We are still in this. I don't know how, but we're in this. I don't know what we're going to do, but we are in this. No! Don't Pokemon capture me! <laughs> okay, good. Okay, okay, okay. Choice belt, okay. Oh, no! No, they got their second Pokemon catcher. No, don't do it. Tails. Tails. Mm. Okay. We got this, guys. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? They have eight cards left in deck. They just have to attach three times. I mean, I assume they have... A <gasps> they scooped! Scoop! What? Why would you do that? Did you not have enough energy... To it, oh my gosh, scoop! <laughs> oh my gosh, Galarian wheezing for the win! Like I didn't even get my Grimmsnarl out that game. Holy cow! Come from behind. Well, well, guys, uh, we did it. Okay, a couple of wins. It, it certainly wasn't the best deck, but hey, we got some cheeky wins. And, man, that Blissey game, oh, that crushed my heart. But, man, but, it, hey, it hits for big numbers if you can set up some stuff with Galarian Weezing, Galarian Zigzagoon, Scoop Up Ned. So, yeah, it's it's pretty good. So, uh, I enjoyed myself playing it. I mean, not every deck has to be, confet be competitive for you to have fun. So, I appreciate those who view the video. And for all those who support my channel, uh, I definitely, definitely uh, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's so fantastic. Uh, hopefully you guys, uh, are interested. I am streaming on Twitch. I am also, uh, uploading videos probably about three times a week, uh, on random days. Uh, always posting on different Facebook groups to deal with Pokemon stuff. So yeah, follow me, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and, uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the future content that comes. So until next time, this is the Macham King. Y'all have a nice day.